Hi Capricorn, welcome to your general reading for the first half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please do check the description box below for all the information you need about me and readings and social media links, decks I'm using, all sorts of information below. So please do go check that out. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And a quick shout out to all my new subscribers, to those who have reached out for personal readings, and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much greatly appreciated. So thank you, thank you so all, for all your support and kindness. It really means a lot to me in supporting this little channel. And hopefully we can grow it into something big, bright, and beautiful. So I really do appreciate all your support. So thank you, thank you. Okay. Capricorn, first half of September already. Can you believe that? September. Wow. All right. Hope everybody's doing well. This is a Zodiac Oracle. So if you're new, um, this is sort of like a little extra bonus. And if you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. We may get a sign, an element, or a planet energy. And we'll see how that plays in. To this reading for you for the first half of September. I will read it as a general collective reading, but if you can fit it into a love situation of some kind, please do that. Okay, so we have Aquarius. So some Capricorns may be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, or you could have Aquarius in your chart, or somebody you know could have Aquarius heavily in their chart. All right, so Capricorn, let's get your main energy. What is your energy like? First half of September, what's going on with Capricorn spirit, please? All the decks have been pre-shuffled, cut, meditated on. Before I came on camera, I do a little bit more shuffling on camera, so please be patient with the shuffling. All right, the Capricorn, what is that energy like? First half of September, what do we need to know, Spirit, please? The Capricorn, can we get one card for Capricorn to get their overall energy for the first half of September, Spirit, please? One card, one card, and I think this is your card right there. And we have 44, Environment. Hmm. And four, you know, is usually about stability, foundation, the basis of something, but added together, that's eight. And eight is about action, communication, travel. So something about in your environment, it could be, you know, um, not necessarily, necessarily being like an environmentalist or anything like that. Could be something surrounding your environment, whether it's family, friends, coworkers, your home. Uh, something in your environment. So I don't know, we'll see how that plays into your reading. And on the bottom of the deck, we have self-discipline, which is number 41. Add that together and that's five and that's about change. And self-discipline is having, you know, structure. Okay, so now four is about balance, is about structure and the foundation of self-discipline is having that, um, that self, that, you know, structure and sticking with it and having that willpower and discipline to do what you need to do um, and that sort of energy. So something with your environment, about your stability, being, you know, having that self-discipline. So you're either lacking that right now or you're really being very disciplined with yourself and your surroundings right now, if that makes any sense. All right, Capricorn, what's going on with you, Capricorn? Maybe some of you will uh, start walking every day and you go outside and around your environment and you're very disciplined now. I mean, that's just a random message I'm getting, so. <laughs> All right, so for Capricorn, what is the energy right now? Why, why are we sitting in self-disciplined environments right now for Capricorn? The first half of September, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Can we clarify for Capricorn? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Capricorn. Oh, there we go. 
Well, I had two stick in my hand before and I didn't take them and they're giving me two now. So let's see what we have. So we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Prince of Wands. So Ten of Pentacles, that's your energy. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Prince of Wands is fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius. So Ten of Pentacles, this is you, I think, um, you know, this is being very stable, you know, environment here with the basis foundation stability. The Ten of Pentacles is like the happy home and family uh, being very abundant and um, prosperous in the whole nine yards. So being very, very uh, stable and secure here, being very uh, financially set and stable. And the Prince of Wands here is uh, the Knight of Wands. It's a go-getter type of energy. So I think you are very, uh, and this, you know, when I had gotten this environment with the green, my first thought was career, finances, and that sort of thing. And the Ten of Pentacles here. I think you have a lot of self-discipline in working hard. The Prince of Wands, Knight of Wands, is an action card. is a go-getter, very fiery, passionate, um, very... Um, you know, goes after what they want. They have a lot of ambition and drive. So I think you're a very hard worker and you stick with it and you're very disciplined on your work, your career, your finances, because you have the Ten of Pentacles here. So it's like you, you are set. You are golden. You don't have to worry. You have everything you need here. Your environment is good. Your base is your foundation, your home, your family life, your finances, everything's in check. And you work hard to keep everything at that baseline here. But you have four and one over here, which is change. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. Maybe things just went better for you uh, recently and now you're more stable. Or maybe, you know, maybe something needs to change. I, I don't know. And with the 448, it's about, you know, action and travel, communication. It's an action-oriented number. And here with the Prince of Wands is someone who's that go-getter, action-oriented type of energy. I feel you're a very hard worker, always doing what you need to do to keep everything very stable and around you, your environment. You're very disciplined in that nature. All right, so let's see what other energy is around you. So we have Wheel of, wow. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune and Strength. So now we have Sag, Energy, and Leo. So, yeah, and I had just said maybe things just got better for you. And the Wheel of Fortune here is about things turning in a better direction, um, fate and destiny, things going better. It's the luck of fate and fortune and destiny. And strength here is a very strong, determined energy I'm, I'm getting with you. Like a very strong-willed um, energy. Having that inner strength and willpower just to continue with this self-discipline to work very hard to keep everything in your environment in check and stable. Wow. So let's see. Um, I mean, you could have just came into some money also uh, with the Wheel of Fortune here. But it doesn't have to mean that. It just means things going. And what five here, things could change. And the Wheel of Fortune, things could even get better than what they are now. Things could double. I mean, we have four and then four, which is a double number. Things could get, could be, and you're 11, which is one, well, Aquarius is 11, one, one. So things could double for you in some way, if that makes sense. Because we have Wheel of Fortune 10 here and strength is 11 so we have 10 11 so that's also progression wow so let's see what your situation is here so we got the nine of wands the hierophant wow death and rebirth scorpio so we have fire we have taurus and we have scorpio so the nine of wands the wounded warrior just keeps on going keeps on fighting and i definitely feel that with your energy here um, you and strength, strength. Wow, double, double again with the double confirmation here. So strength, yeah, wounded warrior. But you know, you keep going, you keep fighting, you keep moving on. You just keep going, going, going. The hierophant is about commitment. I feel like you're very, very self-disciplined and committed to 
your environment, to your family, to your friends and family and work. Very committed, very hard worker. Death and rebirth here though, so I don't know if there was an ending of some kind and then a new beginning. That's usually what death and rebirth is about. Uh, transformation, a rebirth, ending and then a new beginning of something here. I don't, I don't know how that plays in here for you. Um, let's see if we can get some clarifiers on why death is here. So we got the nine of wands, a nine of swords, sorry, and the queen of swords. So I don't know something here with stress and anxiety, nervousness, fear, and then having this queen of swords energy, and this could be Aquarius here, somebody around you. Or it could just be your energy of finally standing up for yourself, cutting things out, no longer serving you, telling it like it is, having very clear, open, honest, clear-cut communication, um, not taking any BS. So I think I think whatever here um, was stressing you out, and maybe it was a air sign, an Aquarius sign here. Uh, maybe you just put an end to whatever that situation was with them. Maybe there's been a rebirth of the um, connection, of the um, friendship, or it's a family member, or a boss, or whatever here. Um, I, th I think there's been an end here to whatever stress and anxiety there was in your situation. And people just now being in this clear, open-minded, truthful communication, cutting away that energy that wasn't serving. If that makes any sense I don't know let's get a couple more so we have the Prince of Pentacles and the two of cups so okay so now here's two people aligning coming together seeing eye to eye peace forgiveness harmony you know the Prince of Pentacles here is um, another night card another working card so you have the wands and the Pentacles so passion drive ambition this is about stability finances career it's a slow moving energy um also but he's stable sturdy and grounded and he's dependable here and that's your energy so if there was a falling out i feel here it could have been in your career somehow with an aquarius i feel like things were mended and now it's a more peaceful harmonious place seeing eye to eye um and with the Prince of Pentacles, it could have been work-related here. So I do see if there was something in your work environment here that um, was not in a good energy. I feel that things are better now. It's been like a rebirth of that situation. If that makes sense to you. All right, so let's see what your advice is going forward, Capricorn. So we have the Four of Pentacles and we have the Five. Wow. So advice moving forward is, you know, the Four of Pentacles is stability. Again, stability foundation as what Four Four here. So holding on to your stability, your foundation um, here. But the Five of Pentacles thinks, you know, you. I think you worry about losing power in your environment, whether it's your family life or your career um i think you worry about losing your stability losing your foundation losing your power um and i think you hold on tight to that and that's why you work so hard because you have all this worry about losing everything wow and maybe this death and rebirth and change is um maybe you just need to like lighten up a little tiny bit you know i don't know Let's get more clarification on that. So we have the King of Cups and we have Justice. So King of Cups energy, uh, water energy, Justice here with Libra. So so Justice is, uh, is balance, you know, it's truth, honesty here, balance. So I think, you know, in the King of Cups energy, you know, is maybe not being so much focused on the drive and the ambition and the work 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 maybe also now time to feel your emotions and your family and your friends 
to uh, be in a more loving, compassionate energy also. So energy here, you know, needing to like balance out your scales. If you have if you have all this worry of losing your stability and your power and losing everything here, it's just see everything in a different way, a different light, having more loving, compassionate energy and really needing here to balance out your scales, balancing out your energy. All right, so let's see what your outcome could be in this situation, I guess. Here, so the Ace of Swords. So here's a new beginning. So here's truth, clarity, a uh, big realization, aha moment, a big conversation, uh, the sword of victory. Uh, and I don't think, you know, and this also can be like divine energy telling you, hey, everything is going to be okay. And usually the Ace of Swords in a reading tell, says, yep, this is the truth of the matter. So I really do think here you need to just like chill, <laughs> chill a little bit. You know, don't worry so much uh, as with the Nine of Swords up here, with that worry, stress, anxiety. Um, I don't think you have to worry and be nervous about losing everything here because this is the Ace of Swords, the Sword of Victory, success, you know, having clear mental clarity um, and know everything, this is the divine energy saying like hey everything will be okay as with the justice here your balance your scales will always be balanced you know you can work hard you can uh but you also can love and play hard so you need to i think balance things out i think you're really concentrating a lot of your time and energy on your work and stability and finances career here all right, so let's get more clarity for you now. So we have Judgment, Scorpio Energy again, and we have the Two of Pentacles. Right, so change, exactly. So, <laughs> and I had said over here with four and one is about change. So, I mean, it's okay to have this very strong-willed um, self-discipline, but, you know, this is juggling things around. So, again, I think fearing... Um, losing everything here in juggling all this mental anguish around in your mind, your fears, your anxiety in, you know, fear of just, you know, will things stay balanced? Will they remain balanced here? And this is judgment here saying, you know, um, this is like the divine coming down and shedding light on the situation saying, you know, you don't have to juggle so much. You can change a little bit. You can lighten up a little bit. You can lighten your load a little bit. This is about healing, forgiveness, um, resurrection of family, friends, spending more time with family and friends, asking for forgiveness, you know, why you don't spend so much time with them anymore, and uh, making this final judgment call, decision to just lighten up a little bit. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Princess of Swords. So this is the Page of Swords. So, you know, this could be, you know, watching somebody, somebody watching you. Maybe that's why you have stress, anxiety over here. Maybe at work, you know, maybe you fear people watching you or something like that. Afraid that, um, maybe afraid of losing your job for some reason. Maybe you feel like they're watching you all the time and... You know, maybe you're afraid, oh, I might not do the right thing here. So that's maybe you're trying to prove yourself, you know, working so hard also. Um, but also this is the page of swords, which is communication. So, you know, clear, honest communication here. Again, standing up for yourself, cutting away things not serving you. And that sort of energy with the swords, which is that Aquarius energy. And temperance here Sagittarius again with balancing out your energy healing balancing patience time um, reuniting with friends and family and loved ones coming back together spending more time healing and mending disconnects and reconnecting balancing out the energy here Prince of Cups so the Knight of Cups now so taking that loving moving gesture towards your family and friends and taking that physical action of spending more time with them in a loving, compassionate way. 
So, you know, conflict here, there might be conflict in your work environment or somewhere here, or this is just your inner conflict. But, yep, balancing out your energy, being more loving and compassionate, having truth and clarity situations here. All right, Capricorn, I hope this resonates for you. Let's get some extra messages for you now with this deck here. I'm just curious what's under this. Compassion. <laughs> and I had just said um, having more loving, having a more loving, compassionate energy about you in family and friends. Nine and nine is uh, 18, which is nine. So, you know, nine can be wishes coming true. Is that stress, anxiety again, the wounded warrior, the wounded soldier and uh, someone who's very stable. But you have happy ending over here. So, you know, everything can be happy. Everything will be happy, and I don't think you have to worry. Don't think you have to worry. All right, so let's see. Let's get some extra guidance for you. Advice, guidance, from spirit for you. First half of September, Capricorn Spirit, please. Can we have some messages for Capricorn? First half of September, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What are the messages for Capricorn? First half of September. All right. Let's see. Worth waiting for. Your patience will be rewarded. So. I don't know if there's something you're waiting for, maybe a promotion, and maybe that's why you're working so hard, or something like that, but whatever it is, your patience will be rewarded. Whatever you're waiting for, that makes sense for some. A curiosity, start a project related to something you're curious about. Hmm. So it's kind of an odd message, but uh, if that makes sense for some of you, then uh, if there's something you're curious about, then I guess it's time to start that project. <laughs> All right, could be anything. Could be learning something new, you know, taking a break, relaxing from work a little bit, starting something new you've always wanted to learn. Could be anything. It could be yoga, it could be uh, kickboxing, it could be anything, a new hobby, activity or just learning about something that uh, you've always wanted to learn about, something like astrology or maybe your culture, your history, your ancestry or something like that. All right, so now we have talk about your feelings, tell a friend how you feel. So maybe if you've been keeping everything inside here about um, your worries, your fears, anything with work here, maybe you know it's time to confide in some friends and family. All right, so we have family. Wow, and I had just said curiosity with learning about your family culture. <laughs> and we have family culture. Learn more about your family stories and ancestries. Wow. And under that, we have listen to your true feelings. Don't let others talk you into doing something that you know is wrong. So that could be a message for some of you, uh, whatever that is for you. Okay, uh, Capricorn, so I'm just sensing you're working very hard, trying to prove yourself, whether it's for promotion or you're just worried about your finances, career, and your stability, you know, about losing everything in your home, your family, or something to that effect. I think everything's going to be fine. You can lighten up a little bit, spend more time with your friends and family, and don't worry and stress so much. Okay, Capricorn, check my uh, description box below for past playlists if this didn't resonate for you. Past readings may, and I would say disregard the dates on them. If you find a title that resonates for you, I would say watch it. There may be something in there for you. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and um, good luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And if you do like how I read my style, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the little bell. And uh, you'll be notified when you post new readings. I think now when you hit the bell, there's three options. And I think you have to hit all or something like that to get all the notifications. So don't forget to hit the little bell. And I'll see you next time. Good luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. 
And as I always say with my channel, it's to always, always shine your light.